The rise of solar panel and battery storage systems in homes requires updated firefighter training. Here's a six-step approach for safe and effective fire mitigation. Conduct a walk around to locate solar panels or energy storage systems. A placard on the electrical utilities box will indicate system presence and shut off locations. Shut off both the main breaker and the DC-AC disconnect to isolate power. Turning off only the main utility breaker activates backup batteries. If the energy storage system is on fire, ventilate the space before extinguishment to prevent thermal runaway. Solar panels can generate electricity day or night. Avoid cutting into hidden conduit. If the roof is covered with panels, consider vent, enter, isolate, search, or horizontal ventilation. The back of solar panels is combustible. If burning, apply a straight stream from 20 feet or a fog pattern from 5 feet away. Foam is unnecessary. Plain water is the most effective. If a battery is burning, ventilate the area, then apply water from 20 feet away, switching to fog at 5 feet. Approach from the side to prevent deflection. Batteries can overheat and reignite, so continued cooling is crucial. Solar panels and wiring must be evaluated by a certified electrician before touching. Damaged lithium-ion batteries can reignite up to 72 hours post-extinguishment, so firefighters should cool them fully and wait for a specialist to handle the removal. Fire departments should collaborate with solar and storage industry experts to establish reliable post-fire response resources, as electrical utilities will not manage these systems.